everyone welcome back to diy true spirit i hope that everyone is having an amazing day welcome back so today i am doing the top five things when you know that a friendship is not necessarily good for you and i am so sure that almost all of us can relate at this point are you ready all right let's get into it so the first sign when you know a friendship is not necessarily good for you is obviously when you cannot be yourself around that friend okay <laughs> and i think this is obvious this is an obvious one because you know when you can't be yourself then your tempers will tempers will rise or you, you know your moods will switch and all kinds of negative things will happen so when a friendship is not good for you that's usually the first sign that you definitely can't be yourself and you constantly have to be pretending around that person and um i mean a true friend embraces you and absolutely just loves you for who you are the crazy you that you are or the soft-spoken silent and simple you that you are whatever your personality is okay a true friend absolutely just loves you for that so if you can't be yourself around the persons that you are the persons that you consider to be your friend that is the first negative sign that that friendship it may not necessarily be good for you you should be able to be free feel free to just be yourself and just unleash the beautiful powerful you that's within yourself okay so if you can't be yourself you have to evaluate that friendship and do some sort of assessment there if you can't be yourself the second clue to know that a friendship is not necessarily good for you the second number two is when when you are always being put out of your way okay i mean there are friendships there are times in friendships like in certain situations where you have to compromise you have to do certain things that you know your friend might want to do and you might not necessarily want to do it on that day or at that particular time that's understandable there will be those times so you have to understand and you have to compromise and because it's a friendship so it has to wait have and it definitely has to be at a balance okay there's no single side to any good healthy or you know sensible friendship so to speak so you know when you know a friendship is not necessarily good for you is when you are constantly note the word keyword constantly always being put out of your way are mostly being put out of your way like you always have to do something for that friend um they don't consider your time because it's always their time they prioritize themselves mostly um they don't listen to your suggestions of places that you want to go things that you want to do uh, and how you want to do it so you know when you're constantly always being put out of your way especially Especially guys especially if it's negatively being put out of your way to do things that are not necessarily legal I mean obviously that's a big red flag <laughs> okay that's a big red flag there but some people might value their friendship to the extent where they may not necessarily see it that way but when you're constantly and negatively being put out of your way in a friendship like you don't feel comfortable around that friend maybe because of things like um you know bad things that they might do to cost you prison time or maybe to cost you just a, to have a really bad day or some run-ins with the law whichever it be okay if you're negatively or constantly being put out of your way that's the second sign that a friendship is not good for you okay and the third sign that a friendship is not good for you when your friends constantly discourages you and never uplifts you like if you have an idea for example and they don't see the good in that idea and it always happens i mean there will be times when your friends can't see eye to eye with you because they really don't see that vision and in all honesty in a good friendship you have to be honest especially if they don't see the vision for that to work out and they mean you well and they don't see that working out 
properly for you they don't see you going anywhere with that particular idea or whatever and this is something that they definitely can explain to you expound upon and communicate to you but if they're constantly like down in your achievements if they're constantly thinking very little of your accomplishments and constantly just talking negatively about your ideas your opinions, situations that you're a part of to help improve yourself then that is one of the signs that a friendship is just not good for you i mean they can see the good in the things that they do but they can't see the good in the things that you do and then when you ask them why there's no sensible conscious reasons why and um importantly also if they're not communicating to you that what you're doing does not make any sense to them or it possibly is unbecoming then and they don't communicate that to you but they have that in the back of their minds and by their actions you can tell then that's a sign that that friendship needs assessment okay all right so let's move on to the fourth sign that a friendship is not necessarily good for you okay so the fourth sign that a friendship is not necessarily good for you is when you're just not happy in that friendship like you'd always rather be somewhere else and you have to be careful constantly what you say around that person because you don't know where it might end up what they might think of it or what might happen so that is the fourth sign that a friendship is not good for you when you you are not happy because ultimately like at the first what we said you can't be yourself and other factors that are contributing you're just not happy around that person you need now to assess yourself and you need to ultimately assess the friendship to see if this friendship is going anywhere if this friendship really does mean anything to you or really does mean anything to the person that you consider to be your friend okay so the, if you see, if you don't genuinely feel happy within yourself when you've assessed you know that this friend this is your friendship and you're just not happy you're assessing yourself it's not going anywhere okay so that's the fourth sign that a friendship is just not good for you and you might need to just evaluate the whole thing all together okay okay so let's move on to the fifth sign that a friendship is not good for you the fifth and final <laughs> sign that a friendship is not good for you let's go guys your friends are who you consider to be your friends gossips about you okay if if they're talking about you positively like something that you're doing good or some a good idea good or opinion something positive something uplifting and definitely optimistic if they're talking about that and you're not necessarily in their presence then fine but if a friend if somebody not because no friend gossips about you. So if a, somebody who you considers to be your friend gossips about you and then it comes to your attention, then that was never a friend. Under no circumstances was that ever a friend, okay? If you are doing something that's not necessarily right, if you're doing something that your friend, con your the person that you considers to be your friend considers like out of bounds, then it's their duty as your friend to, to confront you about it, speak to you, the individual who actually can make the change about it instead of talking behind your back and gossiping, constant gossiping. And you know, sometimes it just does not feel right okay if that if it just does not feel right and then your mind's giving you a clue then i that it's just a dead setter a good friend does not ever under absolutely no circumstances speak negatively about you behind your back i mean they can be so honest and so brutally honest to just tell you exactly how they feel about something that you might be doing wrong but gus to you and it's important that they speak to you about it, okay? But when they gossip behind your back about you and... So guys, that is the fifth thing, the fifth sign that a friendship is not necessarily good for you. And with all that being said, that's my personal opinion. That's how I see things. And um, 
I'm sure a lot of persons will agree with you based on what they themselves have gone through. And um, with all being said, it does come down to self-actualization, um, self-assessment, and also some evaluation as well, because sometimes you may very well be the problem, okay? But you don't see it that way. When you can see the good in yourself and the bad in someone else, I mean, it. I think it's time to just do some self-assessment and just be honest with yourself and see where you may be falling short. You possibly may be falling short in all honesty and fairness to self so at the end of the day it's also good it's always good to do some self-assessment so thank you guys so much for watching diy true spirit and i will see you guys next time and um please do not forget to like share comment and subscribe to diy true spirit leave your suggestions leave your questions i totally welcome them and i am so happy to hear from you so see you guys next time on another exciting video of diy true spirit Mwah.